You're listening to Attorney Jack Golan of uh, Popkin Shumay and Golan Law Offices, and we're talking about different immigration situations. Call him for a free consultation at 213 383 3222. Following up on the notice to appear applications, Attorney Golan, this, this is a very serious situation, and definitely uh, these individuals must be accompanied by their immigration lawyer, correct? Well, anybody who believes that they can navigate uh, uh, immigration court by themselves are uh, fools. <laughs> Good luck. Fools. Good luck. They, they, they deserve to they deserve to be deported. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. What happens? Immigration uh -huh. court. Yes. Immigration court is a very uh, difficult and very uh, uh, I'd say a very dangerous minefield for the uh, uneducated person. Mm -hmm. So what happens if this notice was not received by the particular individual, perhaps because of change of residence and other situations? What happens then, Attorney Golan? Well, uh, here, here, here is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, again, a, a first mind, mind, a landmine or the first opportunity. Mm -hmm. It all depends what kind of address did the immigration service have for you. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, because if, if they had an, a, a valid address for you and uh, you moved away without uh, filing a change of address notice with the immigration service and then you don't receive the notice to appear because you moved away, the immigration service is okay. They sent the notice to the last known address. This is all they need to do. Mm -hmm. But if but if they said and then and then the notice to appear is valid, and the immigration judge will probably issue an order in absentia, which means an order in your absence to get you deported, and it is almost impossible to cancel this order. Mm. However, if the immigration service had a bad address for you, for some reason, and you did not make any effort, any attempts to evade receiving the notice by moving away or something like this, then uh, you may save yourself by claiming that the court or the judge has no jurisdiction over you. Mm -hmm. So would you say that having an immigration lawyer would help this applicant keep track of all his documentation and notices that come from the immigration office? I, absolutely, because, because the immigration law is full of obscure uh, 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 provisions and, uh, and, uh, and the obscure interpretations and the facts from case to case are so different is that again I, I, I repeat it's like going to a criminal trial without a lawyer mm -hmm. and not to, and not a, a minor traffic uh, violation but mm -hmm. maybe like a murder trial without yeah. a lawyer uh, you are doomed if you go without right. a lawyer. So picture to our viewers, Attorney Golan, this type of uh, deportation hearing. So if, if one has an immigration lawyer uh, retaining services, um, then the lawyer accompanies this individual during the, uh, the interview, and can they be provided an interpreter if they were not to speak the English language uh, you know, efficiently or fluently? Absolutely, and uh, the court is obliged to provide an interpreter, you cannot bring your own interpreter. It will be a court, a court-provided interpreter. If you claim that you don't speak English uh, sufficiently to understand what is going on, uh, the court will not provide you a lawyer. Mm -hmm. this, the court, the court is not required. The government is not required to provide you legal defense. This is your responsibility. But, uh, but the interpreter you will get. Mm -hmm. Telephone number for Attorney Jack Golan is 213-383-3222.